Okay, let us have the continuation of module 1, sets. We are now on lesson 3, kinds of sets. So, let's start with empty and non-empty sets. So, all sets with elements are considered non-empty sets. While those which do not have any element at all are empty or null sets. Hence, the cardinality of an empty set is zero. Empty sets are symbolized by braces with no elements or this symbol. Examples of non-empty sets. Set A consisting of elements 0, 1, 2, and 3. So since there are four elements, it would be a non-empty set. Set C, consisting of elements Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, let us now have examples of empty sets. The set of counting numbers between 0 and 1. So, the numbers between 0 and 1 are not counting numbers. They could be fraction or decimals. So that is why it is an empty set. The set of vowels between R and Z. The letters between R and Z are consonants, not vowels. So that is why it is an empty set. Next set M is a set of X such that X is a vowel in the word Rhythm. So, we have here letters of R, H, Y, T, H, M. So, those are consonants. So, that is why set M is an empty set. Okay. Next one, single tone or unit set. It is a set that contains only one element. So, examples of singleton or unit set. Set Y, even prime numbers. So, an even number, it has so many. But a prime number, that is an even number, at the same time, the answer is only 2. Set X, principal of Camarillo Sur National High School. So, we only have one principal, Dr. Sulpicio C. Alvarez III. Set W is a set of X such that X is a natural number between 15 and 7. So, the answer is 16. So, that is why this is a singleton or unit set. Okay, finite and infinite sets. A finite set is one in which the number of elements can be counted. So, nabibilang po siya. So, kaya magiging finite set. The cardinality of a set can be determined. An infinite set is one in which the number of elements cannot be counted. The cardinality of a set cannot be determined. Examples of finite set. Set A is a set of days in a week. So, how many elements? We have 7 days or 7 elements. Set P, red, yellow, and blue. Can we count the elements? Yes, we have 3 elements. Set X is a set of X such that X is a subject in grade 7 class. So, it can be counted depending on the curriculum you are enrolled. So, if you have, if you are enrolled in a regular class, you only have, you have 8 subjects. But in a special class, you have 10 subjects. Okay, let us have examples of infinite sets. Set of all stars in the sky. 
So there are so many stars in the sky that we can count it. And we're gonna see every star in the sky. Set of sugar grains in a cup. We can only get the mass, but we cannot count the sugar grains. Set C is a set of X such that X is a counting number. So there are so many counting numbers. Okay. Next kinds of set, equivalent or equal sets. Sets are equivalent if they have the same number of elements, meaning the cardinality of the set is the same. Sets are equal if they have the same elements irrespective of order. So, pag equal po, ibig sabihin parehas po ang elements. Pag equivalent, parehas po ang bilang ng elements. Examples of equivalent sets. So, we have two sets. Set M, the elements are L, O, V, E. Set N, the elements are 5, 10, 15, 20. So, if we're going to get the cardinality of set M, we have 4. Set N, we also have 4. So, that is why they are considered equivalent sets. So, we can use the symbol to indicate that set M is equivalent to set N. Next example, we have set S is a set of X such that X is a natural number between 10 and 20. So, that means 10 and 20 are not included. So, you're going to start with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 so there are nine natural numbers or nine elements in set s and set r is a set of x such that x is a counting number between 20 and 30 so if we're going to count the counting numbers from 20 to 30 it would be 21 22 23 24 25 26, 27, 28, and 29. So, set S has 9 elements and set R has 9 elements. Therefore, S is equivalent to R or set S is equivalent to set R. So, meron tayong dalawang symbol na ginamit to indicate that they are equivalent. Okay, examples of equal sets. We have your set H with an elements of A, E, L, O, U. And set P with an elements of L, A, E, O, U. What did you notice? So, we have set uh, element A and we also have element A in set P. Same with E. Also have E here. L, also have hell, L, O, and then O, U, and then U. So, they have the same elements. At the same time, the number of elements of set H is 5. The number of elements of set P is also 5. So, we could say that set H is equal to set P. Next, we have your set J x such that x is an even prime number so the element of set j is 2 and we also have set r equals 2 as its element so we can say that set j is equal to set r so take note class that equal sets are also equivalent sets because the number of elements are equal. Okay, we also have joint and disjoint sets. Joint sets are sets which have elements in common. 
May parehas po silang element. These joint sets are sets which do not have elements in common. Okay. So, examples of joint sets. Set K, set of letters in the word student. So, we have here S-T-U-D-E-N-T. Set L, set of letters in the word mathematics. So, pag sinabi natin joint, may parehas po. Ano ba ang mga letters na parehas sa word na student at sa word na mathematics? So, the common elements, S. So, let us check. Set S, uh, element S, and element S. T. Ayan po. Then, E. No other common elements. So, we also have set A, with an elements of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And set B, with an elements of 1, 2, 3 and 5. So, the, col the common elements are 1 and 3. Very good. Okay, last example of joint sets. Where we are set W is a set of X such that X is a whole number below 8. So, set C is a set of X such that X is is a counting number between 5 and 10. So, what are the common elements? The common elements are 6 and 7. Okay. So, let us now have disjoint sets. Examples. Set C is a set of letters in the word albay. And Set D is a set of letters in the word sorsogon. So, if you notice, there are no common letters. So, that is why they are considered disjoint sets. Okay, next one. We have here set A with an elements of 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Set B. With, with, a comma, uh, with an elements of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, if you notice, ang set A po natin ay even numbers. While set B is a set of odd numbers. So, there's, there is also no common elements. Next, set E is a set of X such that X is an even prime number. And set P is a set of X such that X is a prime number between 5 and 10. So, what do you think? Is there any common element? Okay, there are no common elements. Please pause the video to answer activity 3 in your module. We will explain an item in the activity and for you to check whether your answer is correct. Please pause the video to answer activity 3. Please start answering now. Okay. Letter A. Classify the following as finite and infinite sets. Question number two, the set of persons living in a house. So, can you count the number of persons living in a house or not? Yes, we can count. So, therefore, it is a finite set. Letter B, identify the following as null set or singleton set. Question number four, set I, the set of largest one-digit number. So, is there any largest one-digit number? Yes, there is. So, therefore, it is a singleton set. What number is the largest one-digit number? 
It is number nine. I think you don't have any question with kinds of sets. So we're done with lesson three. So before we end the video, I want you to have this in mind. Don't be afraid of being a beginner. Another one. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. But if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. So let us aim high. So again, this has been in collaboration with Mom Cheryl Mate Rodriguez and Mom Christine Marie M. Pomor. So this is Mom Badet signing off as your teacher for Module 1, Lessons 1, 2, and 3 under sets. Thank you for watching the whole video.